This video instructs you on how to assemble your LT-150. Be sure to refer to your assembly manual throughout this video. We recommend that two adults be present during the assembly of this machine, as some of the components weigh approximately 30 pounds. Once you receive your machine, be sure to inspect each box for damage. Open each box, but only unpack the contents of boxes 2 and 3. Referring to pages 2 through 5 of your assembly manual, confirm that you have all the tools, parts, and hardware to assemble your machine. Fully assemble the machine stand, referencing section 3 of the assembly manual. For this next step, we need to open box 1 and remove all packing materials. Assemble the cast iron base assembly to the stand. Once you're ready to assemble the cast iron frame, take note of the holes on the stand that the frame will assemble to. This set screw is a locator screw that aligns with the bottom of the cast iron frame. Place the stainless steel flathead screws and the yellow handled T-wrench on the shelf. The cast iron frame weighs approximately 35 pounds. Two people may be required for this step. Injury could occur if the cast iron frame is dropped. In addition, damage to the machine could occur if the frame is dropped. Carefully lift the frame by supporting the ribber column and the base of the frame. Place the frame on the LT-150 stand being sure to align the locator screw with the bottom of the frame. Be sure to support the frame while inserting the flathead screws. Use the yellow handled T-wrench to evenly tighten these screws. Be sure to fully tighten these screws as it's very important that the frame be secured onto the stand. Insert the tool holder cans into the appropriate cutouts in the yarn tray. These are great for holding spare needles and latch tools. Attach the hand crank assembly to the cast iron base. Viewing underneath the frame, this is the drive gear that the hand crank assembly will be mating with. The hand crank assembly side plates mount within these grooves. Assemble the hand crank assembly to the cast iron frame, being sure that the green gear is mating with the drive gear and that the side plates are fully mated within the grooves. Attach this assembly to the frame with the four quarter 20 by seven eighths inch long flathead screws provided with your machine. Use the yellow handled T-wrench to evenly tighten these screws. I know you're tempted, but don't crank your machine yet. Attach the weight strap to the stand. Place both sets of weights on the mid shelf of the LT-150 stand and hang the heel weights on the weight crossbar. Assemble the weight strap to the LT-150 stand by hooking onto the weight crossbar. Wrap the strap around the lower idler assembly and then up through the top idler assembly. Hang one set of weights on this end of the weight strap. Attach the ribber assembly to the upright column. The ribber arm assembly attaches to the ribber column using these mounting holes. Place the ribber arm assembly as shown here. Insert the two low head screws into the slots and use the long armed yellow handled T-wrench to evenly tighten the screws. Be sure not to over tighten these screws as the ribber cone will need to be centered with the cylinder later on. Once the ribber arm assembly is attached, lift up on the ribber cone and swivel the arm to the right side of the machine. Assemble the guide shelf assembly. Attach the two long upright posts to the ribber arm assembly. The hardware needed was shipped attached to one end of these posts. Use the 3 16 short arm wrench provided with your machine to tighten this hardware down. 
Assemble the tension assembly tray with two medium posts. The tray slides over the set screws on top of the long posts and the medium posts attach to these set screws. Assemble the two tension arm assemblies with the heel spring adapters to the medium long posts with a quarter 20 by 3 8 stainless steel button head screws. Attach the plain tension arm assembly without the heel spring adapter to the short posts with the remaining quarter 20 by 3 8 stainless steel button head screws. Use the yellow handled T wrench to evenly tighten all screws down. Please refer to your assembly manual to be sure that the orientation of these tension arm assemblies is correct. Attach both heel springs to the heel spring adapters. Slide the heel spring through the small hole on the top of the hex shaped stud. Using your 3 seconds short arm wrench, tighten the set screw onto the heel spring. Notice the heel springs are bent as mirror images. Install the winged yarn guide and latch guards. Attach the winged yarn guide to the cam shell using the 3 32nd long arm wrench provided with your machine. The button head screws and washers required to mount this assembly are placed in the same plastic bag as the winged yarn guide. Attach one of the cylinder latch guards to the cam shell assembly in the position to the left of the winged yarn guide. Please refer to page 20 of your assembly manual for installation of the rubber needle latch guard. Now for the most exciting step, let's get ready to crank on your new machine. Place a cone of waste yarn on the yarn tray. Thread this yarn through the tension arm assembly without the heel spring adapter. Please feel free to refer to our YouTube video titled LT150 Video 9 Yarn Path for further instruction. Find the loose end of yarn in the center of the knitting and pass this yarn through the winged yarn guide assembly. Tie this loose end of yarn with the waste yarn that you just threaded through the tension arm assembly above. Once these two ends are joined, pull back on the slack. Adjust the stitch length adjustment to a value of 5. Please refer to your operating manual if further instruction is necessary. Using a buckle tool, attach the buckle to the knitting and attach a weight to the buckle. Or you could even attach the weight strap to the buckle. As you know, your machine has the capability of rotating either the cylinder or the camshell. Your machine was shipped in camshell rotation mode. The component right here is called the front camshell plunger. Notice that its color is silver and notice the position that it is in reference to the front of the machine. Be sure to check that all the needle latches are open. When you're ready to crank, it's important to crank in the reverse or uncomfortable direction. Crank in the reverse or uncomfortable direction to rotate the camshell clockwise. Crank along in this direction to your heart's content. It is important to fully read the operating manual prior to attempting to knit a complete pair of socks. Prior to ribbing, refer to our YouTube video titled LT150 Video 20. This video will demonstrate how to center the ribber cone with the cylinder. If you have any questions at all, please contact me. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you enjoy your machine.